First up at 11, we are tracking the latest developments in the coronavirus outbreak. Good, you know, why, why risk it? Tonight, UConn students react to the university's decision to cancel trips to Italy because of coronavirus cases in the country. And the school is also trying to bring back students who are there right now. Hello, and thank you so much for spending time with us tonight. I'm Roger Suzanin. The coronavirus concerns in Connecticut come on the same day that a man died from the virus in Washington state. Public health officials stress that the risk to the public remains low, but this is an evolving situation. Channel 3's Shantae Passmore joins us now live with more. So, Shantae, what do we know about this victim? Well, Roger, Washington health officials say he was in his 50s with underlying health conditions. Meanwhile, universities are taking steps to cancel student trips in areas where there's an outbreak while bringing students home. Tonight, Washington's governor declared a state of emergency after public health officials revealed a man died from the coronavirus. It is the first death in the U.S. President Trump announced a death in a rare Saturday news conference from the White House. Additional cases in the United States are likely, but healthy individuals should be able to fully recover. On the front lines of the administration's fight is Vice President Pence. He said the U.S. is banning travel to Iran, where the death toll is highest outside of China. Elevated travel advisories for South Korea and Italy are expected. And Italy is also where 88 UConn students are studying. The university told Eyewitness News it's working to bring them back to the U.S., a move students applauded at the store's campus. I honestly think it's a good idea because you don't want coronavirus spreading to here or anywhere, really. I get the university's, um, the action they took. They want the safety for everyone from students that are abroad to students here. Earlier this week, the Connecticut State Colleges and University System said all student trips to China and South Korea are canceled indefinitely. Officials said they were consulting with the CDC's travel guidance in advance of other trips. At last check, the agency issued travel health notices for China, Iran, South Korea, and Italy. And President Trump also shared there are 22 confirmed cases of the coronavirus. As you might remember, one of those cases came from Massachusetts. In the newsroom tonight, Shantae Passmore, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.